everybody, Lammy here, and welcome to another Halloween video for 2014. This one is going to be another craft video, and uh, yeah, as you can tell, I'm wearing my Halloween costume. If you saw last week's video, Mom said I could wear it early, and yeah, as promised, I did give her some candy. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm a candy fairy for Halloween. Have you guys seen this one at Build-A-Bear? Look, I got wings, guys. Check it out. So anyway, in this video, we're going to be making ghosts in a jar. And uh, we're going to go through the supplies that you need to do this. A lot of it are things that you can find around your house. And uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, so Mom and I are going to be showing you the things that you're going to need to make your own ghost in a jar. So yeah, let's uh, get to it. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously the jar. You're going to need a mason jar. This one used to be a pasta sauce jar that we washed out and we let it air dry so it's nice and clean. So you'll need a jar with a lid. And we also have this tiny little jar which used to be um, a spice. So any size jar is great. We're going to be making a big one and we're also going to make a tiny little ghost in a jar too that I can have. So anyway, let's move on. Um, you're also going to need sticks that you get out of your backyard, guys. It's pretty simple. Just go to your backyard and grab some sticks. Um, old sticks off of a tree or ones that are laying on the ground are perfect. So you're gonna need those. You're also going to need styrofoam, which you can get at a craft store or sometimes you can find it around your house. Get this stick off me, Mom. Lammy? Well, it's distracting me. Okay, so you're gonna need some type of um, styrofoam because that's what you're gonna stick the stick down into, huh? So we have one that we have cut to the size of the inside of the lid. We'll show you how to do that. And then we have a little one for the little jar. Then you're going to need your supplies for the ghosts. And you're going to need styrofoam balls or pom-poms. These little soft pom-pom things would work as well. Um, different sizes, probably a little smaller. You don't want it to be too big. And then to make the ghost, you're going to need gauze. And this is just medical gauze that you find in first aid kits. And then you're going to need a marker, a sharpie, anything, a black marker, because you're going to use that to draw the eyes on the ghost. You're also going to need some moss. Now this stuff is just creepy old moss and you've probably seen it in some of my decoration videos. And all you have to do is uh, use this to put it at the bottom to camouflage the um, styrofoam. So you'll see that in a minute as well. But you're going to need some sort of moss or you could use dried grass, anything like that. And last but not least, you're going to need glue sticks and a glue gun. Mom, where's the glue gun? All right, we got the glue gun and a glue gun. Now, guys, glue guns, um, if you've never used one, what it does is that little stick that's in there, it goes inside, and the gun heats that glue up, and it makes it very, very hot. So if you're using a glue gun, make sure you get your parents' help. Otherwise, if you don't have one of these, you can also use craft glue that you get from a craft store or a, a drugstore, places like that. So anyway, let's get started. I can't wait to make this. Okay guys, so welcome to another Halloween video. This one we're gonna be making ghosts in a jar. So Lammy already went over the um, supplies you'll need with you and now we're gonna tell you how to do it. So first things first, you need to make sure you start off with a clean jar, make sure the label's removed, and you just take the lid off. This used to be a pasta sauce jar, that's why that's uh, orange right there. And what we did is we took a piece of styrofoam before we started the video and we cut it so it fits inside that circle. Now you don't want this to be too big because then you won't be able to put this on top like that and close it. So you need to make sure that your styrofoam doesn't have to be a perfect circle because all of this is going to be covered up. But make sure that it's right in the middle of that circle on the inside of the lid. Now once the glue gun heats up, which we've already plugged in and we've put it on top of this cardboard so it doesn't drip on the um, placemat, um, once that glue gun heats up and the glue melts, we're going to use that glue to attach this to this and that's the first step. So the glue gun is starting to drip so that's how I know that it's ready. So I'm going to take my styrofoam here and I am going to put some glue be careful with this. This is very hot. It will burn you. So make sure that you have your parents help if you're using a hot glue gun. Otherwise you can use a craft glue. And then you stick that to the top of your lid and see it's glued on. So we have to let that glue cool for a minute. So there's that. 
And then while we have the glue gun going, we are just going to also um, do the lid for the little one for Lammy. So we're going to put the glue right in the center like that and then take it and stick it right in the middle. It has to be directly in the middle so it doesn't hit the lip of the jar. See? So it goes on like that. So both of those are now glued, so that's good. Now the next part is the fun part. This is where you get to start taking your sticks and things and sticking them down into the styrofoam. That's what you need the styrofoam for, is to stick that in there. So um, we have our sticks from the backyard and I'm cutting them down to size because this one was too tall for this jar. So you kind of have to look to see how tall it needs to be for the jar. So I like this one, but this arm up here is too long. So I'm gonna break that off and we're gonna get this to size. Now, another thing you can do to see if it fits is you stick it in. Now see how that one's sticking out? It doesn't work very well. So what we can do is we can cut this one down to size like that. All right, so now you can see that it fits in the jar. What you do is you take this and you stick it down into the center of the styrofoam. So now the ghosts, what you need is these little balls. Now you can also use styrofoam balls which would just stick right on top of here and that would be very convenient, but unfortunately we do not have any. So we're using these little pom-pom soft things. And I'm gonna be using the glue because I can't stick it on. I'm gonna be using the glue which you have to be very, very careful and get your parents help because it will burn you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this cotton ball on here and then add the gauze to make the ghost. So first things first, we add some hot glue to the pom-pom. Like I said, guys, be very careful. This will burn you. And then you stick it on top of here and hold it for a few seconds so the glue adheres to the stick and to the pom-pom. See, like that. So you have to let that dry for a minute before we start putting the gauze on top. So in the meantime, while that's drying, you can be taking your medical gauze, and this is just gauze that you would find in a first aid kit. You need to take your medical gauze and cut it to the size that you want. All right, so I have draped my cloth over the little pom-pom, and then I took my black marker and I put little eyes, which didn't really come out like like solid eyes, they look almost a little spookier than that. It's because of the gauze and the ink kind of spread out. So it almost looks like spider eyes. It's kind of creepy actually. Next thing you're going to do is take some of that moss that I showed you earlier and put it around the bottom. And putting it around the bottom is going to camouflage and hide your styrofoam that the stick is in. All right guys, there's the close-up view. You can see the moss at the bottom and our ghost and his creepy spider eyes. Um, and then I think if you had a styrofoam ball under this, it might work a little better, but because of the soft pom-pom and because of the gauze, the ink kind of just, like I said, just kind of spread out. But you get the idea that it's a ghost. Actually, these eyes look a little creepier than regular ghost eyes. And then you can see where I put the moss up there in the tree. So there is your up close view of your little ghost. And now the fun part is putting him inside the jar. All right, so then what you're going to do is you're going to take your jar and you're gonna carefully maneuver him inside like that. Now, you take the jar and you gotta twist it closed. And if you have any extra moss sticking out, just pull that right off like this. Just pull that off so that way it stays shut. And there you have it, guys, your ghost in a jar. All right, guys, so there's the ghost inside the jar and the little one's over here. See, there's the finished product for the itty bitty one. That one's mine. I don't know what to name him. What should I name him? Leave me a comment below, let me know. I think he's cute. All right, guys, so that concludes this video for how to make a ghost in a jar. If any of you guys make these, show me your recreations on Twitter or on Facebook or on Instagram. All those links are in the description box below. Uh, yeah, you'll find all my accounts down there. So yeah, have any of you guys ever made this craft before? Do you like it? I love my little ghost in a jar. Anyway, be sure to subscribe.
subscribe. I've got tons of more Halloween themed videos coming up for the month of October. Oh, and I know some of you have been asking me about the um, the giveaway for my 10,000 subscribers. I do still plan on doing that, but this month is very, very busy for me. So I will be doing that at the beginning of November sometime. So don't worry, guys. I haven't forgotten. It is coming. All right, guys. So be sure to subscribe and uh, for more videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Ooh.